I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2020 32 DPT Sabre Cobalt fifth wheel by Forest River. This is a three slide rear living model with two pantries and a bed slide. We're going to look at some features of this floor plan. So I'm going to show you next to the door the tag for the model 32 DPT. We're going to go inside first and we're going to actually go to the right up to the bedroom and master bath. So when you come in, go to your right, you've got your steps here, landing, and then of course our bedroom straight ahead. So entering into the bedroom, like I said, it is a bed slide. This unit has a king bed in it. Both sides of the bed, we do have nightstands, windows, a decorative headboard behind it. There are reading lights also as well up there. At the front, barn doors uh, for the sliding, sliding doors there for the closet. I have them apart, they come together in the middle and lock for transit. Uh, you've got a really nice closet here. So you got shelving built into the front cap there. There's a rod to hang clothes on, a shelf here. And one of the things that we like that Sabre's doing, if you can see, you've got it where you can have a washer and dryer up here split. So instead of having a combo, we really try to avoid those if we can, you can have a split system, dryer on one side, washer on the other. So a really nice closet there in the front. A lot of space in here. Um, at the foot of the bed, you can see it's very wide, very easy to walk around in here, and it's not too cramped. Uh, at the end of the bed, there are a set of drawers. Of course, the TV hook up on the wall there as well. So a nice, spacious bedroom. This has two ACs, one AC, AC excuse me, here in the, in the bedroom, another one in the living room. So two ACs on this particular unit. Going back out, there is a door here to close this off if you wanted. In the hallway to the left, there is a window. And then to the right here is our bathroom. So... Open this door to the bathroom. Very well equipped bathroom. Uh, start to the left here first. Great storage in this particular floor plan. You've got one linen closet here, a cabinet, and it goes even further down. So it's a really nice storage area there. And then to the right, you know, more of a standard storage area with very big drawers, cabinets, uh, and doors here. So very nice linen closet. To the right, our shower. Uh, you have a plastic tub surround, triple glass shower doors, a seat built in there. You've got shelving built in there, a massive skylight, so lots of natural light coming in this unit. Foot flush toilet in here as well. And at the sink, uh, you've got a nice little spot there. If you had a small trash can, maybe you could go there. Storage below the sink, good countertop space. Uh, subway tile, backsplash, medicine cabinet with backlighting and a mirror. So coming back out of the bathroom, we're in the hallway here at the steps. This is where you've got basically your control center. So Sabre did a good job organizing uh, most of the switches and things of that nature. I've got a monitor panel. I've got the control for the rear AC, light switches. We've got slide room switches, awning switches, our main control pad for our jacks. Uh, there's a smaller control pad outside as well. This has four point electric auto level and then our inverter switch to the right. So all that stuff nice and neat and organized there. When you come in the main door and go to the left, this is the kitchen and living room area. So I'm just gonna kind of rotate around here. You can see it all, two slides back here opposing a lot of space back here. Because of that, I'm gonna walk back here just a minute and look back toward the kitchen so you can see that. So kitchen island in the middle. As you can see, we got two pantries. We'll look at both of those in a second and a lot of countertop space. So with that island in the center, it's a long island, it's got a flush mount cover on the sink so that creates a big surface here if you're not using the sink it's a farmhouse style sink I'm gonna try this with one hand not make it make it fall down but you can see a big huge farmhouse style sink there uh, the faucet's a residential style you got that pull down head on it uh, with adjustable modes and the storage built into the island as well over here toward the front you got this nook lots of drawers lots of cabinets um, really a good area we see people put crock pots coffee makers pressure cookers things of that nature in this corner. Just a nice, another area to, to prep and serve food. And to the right is our first pantry. So remember, we got two pantries in this unit. This pantry kind of serves uh, multiple purposes. These shelves actually come out if you want. There's a closet rod already in here. If you want to hang stuff in here, I've seen people put uh, brooms and mops. I've seen vacuum cleaners, but it gives you some flexibility on how you want to use that particular area. Back to the slide. Got your residential refrigerator. There is an inverter on this unit, so no worries if you're camping and lose power or uh, if you're traveling and want to run it, you can do that as well. 
So huge, a colossal camper, what they call it, the all electric refrigerator here, residential style. Awesome amount of storage in here. Uh, just like an apartment or home style refrigerator. And a double compartment here for our freezer as well. Next to that, stove and oven. Notice the glass top stove cover on the stove. Again, lets you use that surface to cook, excuse me, to prep food if you're not cooking. So one of the things we try to use in RVs is, is using space wisely. And so that's what they've done there. Uh, Furion microwave above as well. And then our second pantry. So again, two pantries on this unit. This is a more traditional pantry, thick shelving, uh, floor to ceiling storage. So really nice there. Now I'm gonna go and show you the living room. I'll come kind of back up into the kitchen. So the living room area, uh, two seating areas. We got the trifold at the back and then the theater seats to the left. Both of those uh, give you good op options for viewing. That TV does pull out if you want to change the angle or it's already, of course, facing the theater seats. So you don't have to move it at all. You can have the best seat in the house there. Um, below that, fireplace, sound bar. Again, a lot of storage behind here. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but there's a lot of storage back in behind here uh, if you wanted to have a maybe a satellite system, DVDs, gaming system, things like that, that pulls out a lot of space behind it. Cabinets all over the place back here, huge windows, a lot of natural light. One of the things Sabre's trying to do, a lot of natural light. This thing feels very open, the light colors, the big windows, it just feels big and open. So you've got, if you have a campsite with maybe a good view, you've got these large windows, you could easily see whatever direction you need to go. If you wanna close them off, not a big deal. Uh, roller shades on these windows, do a great job of cutting that off if you want to do that. Kitchen table and chairs, uh, that's an option. You can get a booth. This one we have table and chairs in it. Again, notice the big windows there uh, for great viewing. Also of note, minimal carpet. Uh, really in the high traffic areas, we try to avoid having carpet. Big open area back here, easy to clean, easy to sweep. If you had to bring in another chair, if it was raining, you've got plenty of space to do that as well. So that's the inside of this. I'm gonna take you back outside. You probably noticed when we walked up, this unit does have the more ride step above steps on it. So the solid folding steps there. I'm gonna back up and show you some more of the awning coverage with LED light strip in it. You can maybe see that. Outside speakers here, big pass-through storage compartment. I'm gonna show you that from the other side here in a second. Four point electric auto level on this particular unit. Again, notice the big windows. Great viewing, uh, really anywhere in the unit. On the back, you have a ladder and a bike rack, a storage rack, wherever you want to call it. Um, additional storage area there. 50 amp detachable power cord. Our water heater and furnace outputs both on this side. We do like that. And here's our docking center. So we like how this is done. Uh, I got an inlet here for cords and cables, things of that nature. Bypassing, um, water heater bypass valves, all that stuff is right here. Very easy to get to. Black tank flush, TV hookups, water hookups. Very neat and organized and all in one location. In a great, great size pass-through compartment. Uh, there's the outside grill there just for reference on how big this is. There's an outside refrigerator already in here as well. So great job by Sabre making a very useful and large apartment up front. Storage under the front also as well. And then a really cool front cap. We love the front caps on these. A lot of blue LED accent lights in them. For 2020 32 DPT Sabre Cobalt fifth wheel by Forest River. Three slide double pantry rear living model, two air conditioners, residential refrigerator, four-point auto level, and that's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.